Looking to isolate elements in your videos? Well, today we're diving into the world of rotoscoping and Adobe After Effects, where we'll unlock the secrets of turning ordinary footage like this into dynamic results like this. Hello, fellow creators! I'm Kat, and today with VidPros, we'll show you how we utilize the capabilities of rotoscoping in After Effects. Rotoscoping is a powerful technique used to isolate elements in a video and apply effects, or manipulate them individually. Unlike other tools that restrict you by color separation or static objects, rotoscoping offers the freedom to isolate any object regardless of movement. So here's how to do it. We're going to use the Roto Brush tool on the woman in this clip so that she becomes the focal point and is essentially isolated from the background. Note that the FPS of the stock footage must match your composition. Before we begin rotoscoping, we first have to duplicate the footage. The top layer is where we'll apply rotoscoping, while the bottom layer remains our original. Hang tight guys, we'll explain why it's important to duplicate your footage later. We double-click the first layer to make sure we're editing the source footage and not the composition itself. And to start rotoscoping, just click the Roto Brush tool. Check that you're on the first frame of the clip. That's very important. To adjust the brush size, hold Ctrl and drag your mouse upward to increase its size or down to decrease it. What we're doing is painting over the woman. So let's zoom in and paint the edges of her outline. The tool automatically traces the rest of her. You can remove unwanted parts like these by holding Alt and dragging your cursor over them. You'll likewise want to double check your work to make sure you haven't missed any parts of your subject. Next, play the clip and the Roto Brush tool automatically tracks your subject's movement. You can pause and review your work to make sure the rotoscoping is smooth. You can check your work frame by frame as the tool sometimes includes other areas. You'll notice the tool isn't perfect and still requires a human touch to it to make sure your rotoscoping is clean and seamless. Once you're done using the tool, you can view your isolated subject in the composition tab. And if you're satisfied with how you've applied the roto brush, go back to the source layer and click freeze to reduce the processing demands on your system. This makes After Effects run faster. You can continue modifying your subject by adjusting the available options under Roto Brush Matte, such as Feather and Contrast. And after rotoscoping, you can add elements and more layers to your composition, like text. Simply insert the element in between your existing layers. So, are you ready to play around with After Effects and try out the Roto Brush Duel? What sort of elements will you be adding to your next projects? Sound off in the comments below! And as you're considering taking the next step in your video editing journey, know that VidPros is here to offer a helping hand. We're all about streamlining the intricacies of video editing to create a more productive workflow for you. So schedule a call with us today and join us in crafting quality in every frame. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tips and tricks. Until next time, keep creating and editing!